Hi. Oh, it's, it, it's good? So, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Full Body Tune Up. My name is Mallory. This is Morgan. We're going to be running you through a couple exercises here to get you loosened up, to get the body feeling good after you've hit it hard at Axon all week. So to start, you just need um, therapy ball, tennis ball, lacrosse ball, something like that, foam roller. And if you have one of these, use it. If not, you can use like a pillow or just anything to elevate you off the ground a little bit. Um, so to start, we'll be on the ground with our foam roller. And we'll start out simple, just rolling out the glutes. So come to a seat and cross ankle over the knee and you'll lean into the foam roller a little bit. And we'll just kind of slowly roll back and forth on the glute. If you find a tender spot, feel free to just hang out there, let the pressure uh, hit the muscle, or let your joint pop like my hip just did. <laughs> and at any time, you can switch in the therapy ball if you need a little more pressure, a little more localized um, release there. So same thing, crossing the ankle over the knee, leaning into the ball. Roll around till you find that trigger point, then hang out there. And we can switch to that other side. I'm gonna go back to the foam roller, but feel free to keep using the therapy ball. Going really slow with the foam roller. Don't need to rush this one. Slower the better for this. Find a spot. <laughs> be here for a few more seconds. All right, we're gonna keep that foam roller. We're gonna move on to the IT band on the side of the leg here. And so basically you can roll anywhere from your hip right above your knee. We just wanna make sure we're avoiding any joints. And this one I'd recommend staying on the foam roller for. Um, the therapy ball would be kind of a little bit harder to get in there, might actually be a little too much pressure for most people. So get nice and slow. Um, something I like to do here, if I find a tender spot, just bend and extend the knee. It'll kind of amp up the, uh, <laughs> the feeling a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and switch to that other leg. All right, same thing. One side's tighter than the other, that's totally normal. Sometimes we, our legs overcompensate, might use one more than the other. So if you're on your left side and it's not feeling as like you need as much, you can switch back to your right side, spend a little more time there. I think mine are equally as tight. Couple more seconds. All right, you can set that foam roller to the side. And we'll grab the lacrosse ball, therapy ball, tennis ball, whatever you have laying around. And for this one, you wanna pop it right between the shoulder blade and the spine. So in that pocket there. If you can't reach the middle of your back, that's fine. Lay it on the ground until you find the spot that you need. So right there. And then you can kind of raise your arm up to get it in that pocket between the shoulder blade and the spine. Yeah, I like to put my arm up overhead or across my body. It really opens up the shoulder blade. You can get in there a little better with the ball. We 
again, just find that trigger point, that sensitive area, let it rest there. Shouldn't be in any kind of excruciating pain, but you might feel some discomfort. your arm around a little bit, nice and slow. And then when you're ready, we'll do the same thing on the other side, right in between the shoulder blade and the spine. And laying down. out here for a few more seconds move around any last little bit you need all right you can remove that therapy ball set it off to the side uh, we're gonna move on to some bigger movements here We've got the stretching out of the way so let's start out on our hands and knees and I'll face this way so you can see a little better. So we'll be doing a um, three-point cat-cow. So we're going to be moving through every area of our spine. So to start, we're just going to do um, the neck and maybe a little bit of the thoracic spine there. So we're just arching our neck up, looking at the ceiling, and moving back down, tucking the chin to the chest, opening back up. So the rest of your spine should remain relatively neutral. We want to focus on getting our spine to move individually rather than all at once. Let's do a couple more rounds here. All right, you can come back to neutral. Now we're just gonna work on the thoracic spine here. So right about to mid back to the shoulders. So we're just gonna arch that area, push the shoulder blades up and then let them sink in. The neck's gonna move, but we wanna keep it relatively neutral. So not arching up, looking at the sky. So when you're arching up your back, you kinda wanna push the ground away, feel a nice stretch into the shoulder blades. Then we'll sink down open up the chest just a little bit. All right, let's move through two more times. All right, and for the last one, we're gonna work on the lumbar spine. So you're going to be kind of wiggling your butt a little bit. So we're going to arch up, tilt the hips forward, and then round the lower back. Again, just focusing on the one area, the spine. So about mid, just to the lower back. Arching and rounding. All right, move through it one more time. All right, and then we'll actually stay in this position and we're gonna do um, kind of like a modified side crunch or like a tail wag. So you're gonna bend uh, kind of like if you were standing up like into a side crunch, but we're gonna be on our hands and knees. So bending side to side, again, moving the butt around wagging the tail, our metaphorical tail. <laughs> so, 
with this one, you can probably kind of see my legs are wanting to move. So let's try to keep that movement just isolated to the lower body there, or the lower back. Should feel a little bit those obliques working to help crunch the side up. Do a couple more, a uh, couple more rounds. <clears throat> All right, you can relax, come out of that. We have one more exercise in this little section, and we're going to come into a bear sit. So sitting on your butt, legs out in front, and they're going to be bent. And you can either grab onto the shins, or if you can reach forward to the feet, grab onto the feet. Here we want to focus on a nice upright posture, so shoulders back shoulders down and then chin tucked just sitting here so you'll feel those uh, erector muscles working in the back while also getting a nice stretch in the hips here inner thigh we're just going to hold big deep breaths a little more stretch you can move legs out All right and we'll stay here in this position but we're just gonna lean forward reach and relax just lean forward keep the spine neutral bring it back as far forward as you can without rounding the upper back bring it back do a couple more Right, last one, reaching forward as far as you can and releasing. Okay, one more section here. Again, getting a little more movement in each time. So we're gonna start with something that's called a double sling. So we're gonna start in a half kneeling position. So back knee down, front foot planted. And then we're gonna raise, so if your left leg's on the ground, you're gonna raise your right hand up. We're gonna lean forward twist open so feel it in your hip and the shoulder and then bring it back to our starting point so every time reaching back my knees gonna crack on every single one of these Let's do two more of these. Yeah, and if you're at home, do it on a soft surface, your knees not hurting like ours. Forgot to grab the knee pads. All right, let's switch to the other leg or the other side. Okay. Left hand up and leaning into the hip or forward so our knee comes right over our toes, opening up the chest, bringing it back in. You can probably see him kind of pausing at the bottom just so I can feel the stretch in the hip flexors a little bit better. Up to you though. You can hang out in this position for a little bit longer if you want, or you can keep moving through. All right, let's do one more. All right. Uh, let's grab that pillow or med ball or whatever you have to just raise up on a little bit. So we're going to sit and kind of do a modified pancake stretch here. So pancake is anything that kind of helps you get into a split position. Um, so 
here, sitting upright, core is tight, and we're just gonna lean forward. Should feel a good stretch in your hamstrings. A little bend of the knee is fine. And let's hang out here for 10, then we'll come back up and repeat for 10 seconds each time. All right, bring it up, relax, reset, and then come back forward. And back up, relax, coming back forward one more time. All right, relax. Okay, you can set your pillow or your ball off to the side. Last thing we'll do for today's mobility <laughs> is we're gonna come into a side lunge, and then as you do, you're gonna open up towards your thigh. So lots of chest openers today. And then we'll rock to the other side. Same thing, you plant your hand, open up. Let's do about 10 of these total. Nice slow movement here. A little deeper stretch, why not your legs? You can sit down farther, open up. All right, we got one more on each side. Last one. All right, feeling good? So good. <laughs> so good. All right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope you're feeling a little bit looser. Again, you can do this before, after an exercise or a workout, anytime you want, anytime you need a little stretch. And yeah, that's it. <laughs>